first things you want to do when you are in Lamp Words for Life is set up a voice. And so um, within Lamp Words for Life, unlike Touch Chat Word Power, there are less voice options. Uh, for some reason, more of them are in-app purchases, which is an ESD we are not allowed to use. So um, how you know is, um, is if there's like a little shopping cart, and I will show you that. Um, and I will show you the voices that I like within Lamp Words for Life. So in the top right-hand corner, um, click on Menu and Settings. Voice is going to be um, under the little title speech. So you'll see right now I have Ivy and Josh as my secondary language voice. Um, secondary language voice is usually for if you're making it a bilingual system. So I wouldn't choose Josh. I would possibly choose a Spanish speaking voice. Um, but those just happen to be my two favorite uh, voices in LAMP. Ivy is for the um, feminine voice that's a child and Josh for the masculine voice and um, for whenever you do need a secondary language voice when you click on it the Spanish speaking voices are all the way at the bottom and so the only um, voice that you have that's a child um, is the masculine voice Enrique and so for some reason none of the feminine voices um, are available Valeria is not available, uh, which is usually available in Touch Chat Word Power. So if you do have a Spanish speaker, um, LAMP might not be the best option unless you are um, okay with a masculine voice. So what you would do is you would click on the voice you want. So Enrique is the masculine um, Spanish speaking voice. Um, Ivy for the um, feminine one. And you'll see that there's a little cloud um, next to some voices, and so that means that you can download them. So if I wanted a teen voice, I could download it, and you'll see that it downloads from the cloud. You do have to be connected to Wi-Fi for this, so make sure that you go to your general iPad settings and connect to whatever Wi-Fi that's in the building that you're currently in. But there is one more masculine voice that I do really like um, for a child. So there's Josh. And then there's also Justin. And so if you click on it, this is how Justin sounds. Yes. And then you'll see that this is how Josh sounds. Yes. And this is how Ivy sounds edit page settings yes and so the one thing that you can do um, and you could do this with an, within any app is you can adjust the rate um, so that can be faster slower to make it a little bit more natural sounding um, I will show you um, how Enrique sounds However, this is the English speaking, um, the English side. So let me see if I can get to Enrique. But if you do download the Spanish English bilingual one, then Enrique is the best option. These. So you'll see it's a little bit, has the Spanish dialect. So when it's Spanish speaking, it'll have a better pronunciation. In English, it'll have a Spanish um, American kind of um, accent attached to it. So those are the voices I would choose.